Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today we are going to be using the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette. It has a lot of cool tones and it would retails for $25. It has a lot of nice shades and I wanted to put together this look. So if you want to see how I accomplished this look using this palette, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to please subscribe, like, and comment, and talk to me down below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what products I'm using that you love, and any products that you want to suggest to me, just leave it right down below. So if you want to see how I got this look that I'm wearing, then just keep on watching. darken it up this is the first time I'm using this palette and I'm very very impressed the color pigmentation is very very good you don't need a lot of color and the color um, selection is really really good because there's a lot of neutrals and it's a cool tone type palette so I really really like that and if you're wondering, the brush number that I'm using, this is a Sigma E40. And I'm going to use my little pencil brush, which is the Morphe M431. And I'm going to go in with that shade again, just to get in there. Next, I'm going to cut my crease, and with that, I'm going to be using the P. Louise Base in number 5. And I already put that on my hand, and I'm going to be using my brush from B. Bella, which is the RG221. And I'm doing a halo eye. and I'm gonna go in with the glitter which is going to be called the shade talk of the town 
and it's a pinkish tone glittered. And I'm gonna put that on my brush and I'm just gonna pack it on. Like so, just packing it on. Tapered brush, and I'm gonna go in with the color It's a Deep, which is like a dark grayish black, and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna go in with that to like darken it up. And then I'm just going to go back in with that first color and just blend it out a little more so there's no harsh lines. And I'm just going to grab a little bit more glitter. I'm going to be using from Beauty Creations and I ordered a couple of lashes so these ones are Breathe these ones are Clap Back and this one is Confidential so I'm gonna put one of these on do my wing and do my priming and my face and then I'll be right back and we'll finish up the bottom lash line and the lips because this video is going to be extremely long if I keep it running while I finish up the rest of my makeup. You've seen me do a lot of my makeup before, but today I'm going to be using the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation. So this is going to be our first impressions for this because I've never used this before. So I will show you guys once I get back, so I'll be right back. So I used Beauty Creations Shane FS 9.5. And then I use the Frankie Rose concealer under my eyes and now I'm about to blend this out and I'm going to use a Sigma Tapered Kabuki.
Beauty, Beauty, Holy, Pro Filter, and Powder. I'm going to be using my Grow Techniques Powder Brush. I'm just setting up my powder. Bedellium to 
that I was using, which is the 35C Everyday Chic from Morphe. And I'm going to go back in with the burgundyish color that I was using earlier. And I'm going to go under my eye with this. with my ColourPop mascara and then I'm going to go into my little tear duct and I'm going to be taking a Sigma E30 brush and I'm going to just pick up the shade that I used for my highlight which is from the Be Perfect time user also it smells just like pineapples guys now for lip I have a bunch of new lippies that I got from beauty creations as well I wind up getting a color called BFF which is a brownish and then a get it girl which is like a pinkish tone and then I got two lip glosses, a pinkish and a brownish one. So I think I'm going to go in with the Get It Girl, which is the pinkish shade. So I'm just opening this up. And if anybody was wondering, like on my nails right now, I'm wearing um, some nail wraps. They're like Mickey Mouse. Kelly, Mickey Mouse nail wraps and I'll leave the link down below of what shop I got them from but I really really like them and they and it's so quick for me to like do it on my nails like super super fast so I'm trying to locate my lip liner and I'm gonna be using the lip pencil and strip down from MAC the shade Get a Girl number 15. This is what it looks like swatched. The palette that I used was a 35C Everyday Chic from Morphe and it was my first time using the palette and it has a lot of cool tones. I really really love this palette. I really enjoyed using it. It did not have a lot of fallout and the color payoff was wonderful. I will definitely be using this palette more in my videos and I will do another video using more of the darker colors in the next video. 
so if you haven't picked up this palette you should pick it up it's only $25 and it's well worth it and it's from Morphe and Morphe shadows are usually pretty pretty good and I usually don't have any problem with it so that is the go-to I love it thank you very much and also I also use the be perfect um, beauty creations flawless stay foundations is what I use for my primer or my face today for my foundation I use shade FS 9.5 in the beauty creations flawless stay foundation and it looks like this and another new product that I used was this beauty creations pineapple setting spray which I actually enjoyed using as well and it smells just like pineapple so how could you not like that the lip gloss that I use is Get It Girl number 15 and it's the Ultra Dazzle Lip Gloss from Beauty Creations as well. And another new product that I used was the Too Faced Natural Face Palette which is the Highlight Blush and Bronzing Veil Face Palette and I really really enjoyed this product also. And for lashes I used the Beauty Creations Confidential Lashes as well in this look and they're very fun wispy they went very good with this look and i actually love them and for primer i used the elf jelly pop dew primer which was my first time using as well so if you haven't noticed i used a lot of new products today in putting together this look and i absolutely love all the products that i use thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video